hi everyone and welcome to the channel so today in this video i will explain how you can get or fetch the current record id of an object record in salesforce lightning web component so we are going to discuss two ways through which we can fetch and display the current record id of record in the lightning web component so in the first way we will display the current record id directly in the lightning web component and then in the second approach we will display the current record id with the lwc quick action so in this we are going to first create an lwc component then we will define a quick action using the lightning web component and after that the lwc quick action will be deployed on the record page so first let me show you a demo lwc component that i have created to display record id of the current record page so right now i have opened a opportunity object record and here on the object record page you can see the record id of this current opportunity record and also you can cross check this record id with the url you can see over here so what we see in the url this is also a record id of this specific record so when we deploy an lwc component on the lightning record page it takes the it takes the record id automatically and the another method that i was telling you to display the record id was using the quick action so i have deployed a quick action on the account record page to display the current record id so it was show record id so as i click on this quick action button it will display the current record id of this specific account record so these are the two ways through which you can display the current record id of object record page in the lwc component so let's move ahead and see the process and before that i will just take few seconds to introduce our newly launched salesforce admin course so first let me show you the course content so this is our newly launched the salesforce admin course and i will also mention the course link in the description from where you can access and view the course so we have designed this course specifically for the beginners and the people who want to learn the admin part so in this course you are going to get more than 50 hours of video content including pdfs and solution and for this course we have covered every module in depth you can see these are the modules that we have covered in this course that is introduction to salesforce salesforce navigation and setup so in the modules you can see the table of content so that you will have an idea what are the topics that we have covered in this admin course and we have covered this course in 10 modules so it will take you around two to three months to complete this whole course and when it comes to the pricing we have kept it 199 dollars for the lifetime access so once you purchase this course you are going to get lifetime access for this course so this was all about the course and now let's move back to the topic so as of now i opened my vs code ide that is integrated with my salesforce org and in case you don't know how to set up an lwc project and connect your salesforce org with the vs code ide so for that i will give a step by step tutorial link in the description in which you can see how you can connect your salesforce org with the vs code so here in the project structure you will see the lwc folder so you have to right click on it and select the option create lightning web component so we are going to name this lightning web component as display current id and make sure that you enter the lwc component name with the kml case that the first letter of first word should be small and the first letter of second word should be in capital and after this press enter so with this we have created the lwc component display record id and now we are going to define this component through which we can display the current record id in the lwc component so first we will define the ui of the lwc component so in the ui we have to just show the record id and i will also add the so in the ui of lightning web component we just need to show the record id of the current record and here also i will add the title to the lightning web component so for that we will use the tag lightning card title and the title i am going to give it as get record id so this will be the title of the lwc component that we are going to display on the record page so here i will close the lightning card title and now inside the paragraph tags that is p tag and now inside the paragraph tag that is the p tag we will enter the parameter current id and in the curly braces you have to write the record id so so with this parameter we will get the record id in the lwc comp and now in the js file of the lwc component we need to define the logic to fetch the record id so here we will import the api that we are going to use in the logic to, to expose the record id as public so here we will write api record id so with the use of api decorator we have made this record id as public so this is the property of api decorator that it is used to make a method or a property as a public and it is useful in the cases when you want to access the fields for the for the parent or the child component and after making the record id as a public using the api decorator we will use the method connected callback so this will be initialized the moment the lwc component will be added to the record page so with this the lwc component is completed so after this we need to make this component available for the record page so for that here we will enter is exposed 
as true and then we have defined the target for the lightning web component like where it will be deployed so inside the target tags we have to enter the target and inside that target we have mentioned lightning record page that means this lightning web component can be exposed to the record pages only and now to deploy the source code to the salesforce org go to the lwc component right click on it and select deploy the source to the org and now you can see the source is successfully deployed to the org and now we'll go to the salesforce setup so here i'm going to deploy the lwc component on the account record page so for that i will open any of the account record and here click on the gear icon and select edit page and here in the lightning app builder search and select the lightning web component that you have created so it was display record id so from here i will drag and drop the lwc component to the template region and drop it over here so here you can see the record id of the current record that we have opened so from here i will save the changes and then go back to the record page so now you can see it is displaying the record id of the current account record and also you can match the record id with the url over here so this is also the record id of the current record so this is how you can get and fetch the record id of current record in the lwc component now we are going to see another method by which we are going to display the id of the current record using the lwc quick action so here in the lightning web component we need to make the changes in the html file so that we can display the record id inside a quick action panel so here i will add the tag lightning quick action so with the tag lightning quick action panel this lwc component will be dis will be deployed as a quick action and here i will close the tag lightning quick action panel and before that i will also enter the header for the quick action so here in the html template i have defined the ui of the quick action so for that first we have used the tag lightning quick action panel and inside that we have defined the header of the quick action and after this we have added the padding using the slds class and inside the paragraph text we have included the text current record id and using the javascript property record id we, we will fetch the id of the current record and to define the footer of the quick action we have used we have defined the slot equals to footer and, and then we have added the button so for that we have taken the variant as a net as a neutral so it will add a standard button and after this we have added the close and the close action so this lightning component is going to be a quick action so so it will open in a pop-up window so so we need to close it also so for that i have added the close label in the close action and at last i have closed the lightning quick action panel tag and now we'll move to the js file and now in the js file we need to import the close action screen event that will handle the closing of quick action and here instead of using the connected fallback we will use the dispatch we will define a dispatch event so for that here i will define the event close action so this will fetch the record id of the current record and allow user to close the quick action and now at last we will make the changes in the meta xml file also so for the quick action we will remove the target from the lightning record page to the quick action so here we will define the target as lightning underscore record action and this quick action will display a pop-up window on the screen so for that we will define the action type as a screen action and at last we will make the changes and deploy the source code to the org so for that right click over here and select deploy the source to the org so this component is already deployed on a lightning record page so we are getting an error that it should be deployed the target as at least a record page so we will keep the target as a record page also and again i will deploy the changes to the org so now it ran successfully now we are going to deploy this lightning web component as a quick action so for that quickly i will go to the setup and now in this example i am going to deploy this quick action on the on the count object so for that i will select the count object and here select lightning buttons and actions and here select new action so here select the action type as a lightning web component and then select the quick action that you have created right now so it was display record id let me check the name yeah so it was display record id so here we need to enter the label so here i will enter the label as display id and the name will be auto field and here click on the save button now the lwc quick action is created and here we need to deploy this quick action to the page layout so for that i will select the default page layout and here in the setup of the page layout select mobile and lightning actions and then search the lwc quick action that you have created so we have named it as display record id so it was it display id so we will drag and drop it to the section salesforce mobile and lightning experience and after this we will click on the save button to apply the changes 
and after this i will navigate to the account record tab for that first we will navigate to the account tab and here i will open any of the account record so here in the drop down you will see the quick action that is display id so here it is display id quick action so as i click on it it will display the current record id of this account record so this is how you can fetch and display the current record id of an object record in lightning web components and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye